Welcome to Board Game Empire. We're going to be showing you a quick little how to play and um, a full playthrough of the Adventure Zone Bureau of Balance. It's a cooperative game. I will admit we um, failed horribly. <laughs> so hopefully we'll do better this time. But um, it's a fun game. And basically it's kind of like a, I don't play Dungeons and Dragons, but it's kind of a, a form of Dungeons and Dragons, but card based. So it's, you're supposed to tell like the um, embellish on the cards, but I'll admit we're not very imaginative. Quentin is, but we're not. We left that in our childhood, our imagination. She's not. <laughs> so we won't be entertaining you with these elaborate stories and um, so, but that's the mean, that's what it's meant to do. Like in Dungeons and Dragons, you have a dungeon master, is that mm. what they're called? And they kind of keep the story going. So we're just basically playing and it's still fun for us that way. So you get, um, each of you choose a character sheet. Um, I chose the wizard. Anthony told, chose the priest. Quentin cho chose the bard. And this is a kind of cool aspect about this game is there's little, um, they want you to create your own story. That's the whole point of this game. So as the wizard, you're a master of magic and can, spell, can use spells to defeat monsters. But you can also create give your character more personality so it becomes real to you. So, like, you're a wizard and a... And it has um, some suggestive answers on the back, but they want you to use your own imagination, and that's just more of a guide. Um, so I put, you're a wizard and a diva human. Because you could be human, elf, gnome, dark elf. And then you're stronger against magical challenges, mostly because of your... And I put catchy phrases and magic wand. <laughs> and then um, you generally assist your teammates using your, and I put wisdom and sarcasm. What's what I put. So mine's like a, a diva human that can do magic. And her name is Mesmeralda. You name them. Um, and then we, they also, you choose a villain, a relic, and a location. You put those cards on the marked location. And then they have a corresponding, um, what are those cards called? Challenge, challenge, challenge card. cards. And then on the back of each of the cards, like the villain, we chose the, the Lich. Um, during setup, you arrange the cards in numerical order with Lich one at the top of the deck. So that particular challenge deck, they're color coded. You do those in numerical order and that's right here. And then on the bottom, it shows on the left how many, um, points this card is worth and then on the right bottom right it shows how much health you lose if you don't defeat him because this is the swarm of rats and there's also on the bottom of your character sheet what these symbol me symbols mean so anyone some people have a better strength against the monsters and it's also this symbol is a double assist there's some that have a no assist um, which is this symbol is the no assist, and this symbol is a double assist. So meaning, I can have both of them help me um, if I want, and the no assist means you have to do it completely on your own. Each of your uh, character sheets tells you your strength levels. My base strength is one, so I have a one base strength. You roll the, is it the ten-sided dice? Yeah. yeah. Ten-sided dice. There's also a symbol, if it's two little X's, that's, um, that means you automatically defeated the monster, the, the card. Um, that means a critical damage hit. But if you get the one X, it means automatic fail. So you've, even, it doesn't matter, you've lost. Um, so, so each battle, you take your strength, if you, and you put the strength dot, the strength token over that strength. If you get an assist, you add their strength to it. You roll the dice, add up the dice number plus your strength level. If it's equal or greater than the challenge number on the card, you won. Um, like mine, though, you do have special strengths. 
against mines against magic challenges. So my strength is four if it has this little cauldron for magic. Um, Anthony's is four spooky. for spooky, and Quentin's four for relic challenges. And even though that's not a symbol down here, there's um, any relic. Basically, the relic deck he has a strength of four. Um, when I assist, I add two. Quentin adds one, and Anthony adds two. You can assist before the die. If they ask me to assist before the die roll, I could assist for two. After they roll the die, say they, they lost, they thought they could do it by themselves, they didn't, then I just place my assist token, meaning it's used, and they only get one assist from me. So there's a before roll, die roll assist strength and an after die roll. And you can only use your assist token once each in each person's turn. Um, also, in this, also if you want to draw what your character looks like, Quentin drew a cute little picture of um, you can see that of his character. Mm -hmm. Anthony drew. He draws really tiny, but I'm not good. At, oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I have no imagination. I didn't draw mine at all. So, <laughs> so um, there's also tokens again. What those are called? The Bureau of Balance tokens. These are special and used in special cases. So um, we never actually used those. So we honestly. We didn't get far enough in this game to use those. I'm sure there's a somewhere in the game. It kind of leads you through the game, so I'm sure there's somewhere in the game where it tells you you can use those. But again, it's a cooperative game. Because I don't see them mentioned when we were reading through the rules. I didn't really yeah, notice we, them being mentioned much. We got defeated pretty quick. We did. Okay. So, but we also did not play very efficiently. Like, we didn't realize till after we played for a while that Quentin's strength is against the relics, and those are hard to beat. And that's another thing. To win the game, you have to defeat the entire relic deck and one other deck. So that one is definitely the hardest. The, we did the train for the location. That one seems to be a little easier. And then you also need to pay attention on the back of these cards are special rules. Because if, if you reach the finale in train deck, you lose. So if we get to the finale and we... We, we can't defeat that before we defeat the relic. Because you must defeat the villain and reclaim the relic before that happens. So if we beat this deck before this deck, we've automatically lost as well. Mm -hmm. And every time we fail a challenge, on the train deck, we have to discard a card. So and that makes it go through, go even faster. And if you lose, your health track, it starts at 12 for a three-player game, 14 for a two-player, and 10 for a four-player plus. Um, so you go down the amount of health in the bottom right corner if you fail on a card. We failed fairly fast. We kept, we could not beat this one card in the relic. It just kept. And we rolled the automatic. <laughs> and that. We were just so unlucky. Our die rolls were horrible. <laughs> okay. And I believe I covered. Yep. And we pick a team leader. Can I go first? Well, you can be the team leader. Okay. Okay. So I'm, I think. I'm kind of the storyteller. <laughs> he is the storyteller. And that's the point of the team leader is to be more of the storyteller. Oh, I forgot to cover the fantasy Costco cards. So the way to get these, you see these point values at the bottom left of each card. When you do defeat cards, once you have a total of three, you could trade it in for the fantasy Costco cards and those give you abilities. Some of them are ongoing, some of them is one time. You can only have two of these at any time, but if you do get a third one, you can either discard it or you could give it to one of your team members because it is a cooperative game. But you can never have more than two. Another way to get the Fantasy Costco card is when you complete, when you defeat the finale card of a deck, you get to draw a Fantasy Costco card. So, on that note, yeah, now we can go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um...
I feel like this dice, because it's so big, it's like unlucky. <laughs> <laughs> We're not lucky with this dice. So remember, you have four strengths, but that's a pretty high strength to beat. Mm -hmm. That's for the first card? Yeah. Oh, so start with that with 10? This one was in, there's no setup rules. You get plus one strength if you describe the challenge, expanding on the nature of the threat. And all ring challenge cards have an, have an inherent story plus one. So if you, basically if you describe the challenge, you get a plus one strength automatically. What is it? It's just while surviving a guilt trip. What even is that? I don't even know if that is. A guilt trip is when someone makes you feel guilty about something. Something you did. Or and, some, something that happened. And Daddy always ha also has four strength against that type of card because it's spooky. Oh, it's a spooky one? So you read this and say, what do you read this? And then you kind of elaborate on that to get plus one strength. Okay, so it's while surviving a guilt trip. Someone makes you feel guilty because you stole their wallet. I don't know. Okay, so is that your elaboration? I guess. Okay, so you have plus four. Or do you are you gonna have anyone assist you? You probably should have someone assist you. Yeah, because you're spooky. Yeah. Well, he. I don't you. That's only two for assist. Oh yeah. So. So either one of us gives you two. Which one do you feel is luckier in assisting? You. <laughs> I hope so. So you already, that means we have six strength. You, actually seven because you got one plus for elaborating. So you only need to draw, roll three or higher. What? One off. Really? We're unlucky. We rolled a two. <laughs> three. The, what are the odds? <laughs> okay. So. No. We, we lose one health. We are so unlucky at this game. Then it goes to me. No. I now know, even though these are easier, <sighs> we're unlucky. We can't, we can't defeat this before this one, or we lose. But uh, we can't defeat this one before this one. We just can't defeat the whole deck. So yeah. I am going to go for this one because you can go for that one since you have a higher strength. Um, I have a strength of one, and. I'm going to have you assist me, so it gives us three. We only need to roll a two or higher. And this is called while in line at the ticket counter. It's a really long line, and the guy in front of you is paying in small coins. <laughs> so he's paying in, like, nickels and dimes for his ticket. <laughs> is that a one? Oh, really? <laughs> this game hates us. <laughs> what are the odds? <laughs> Who hates it? There's 10 other sides. 12. There are 12, actually, yeah. There's 12 sides. Like, I, don't, I don't get it. We're just so unlucky. No. Right. My turn. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do... Um... I don't even know if we're not win one. Well, this one, I'll do this have, one. you have four, and are you having me assist you with yeah. two, even though I might be the unlucky one? Yep, so. <laughs> so we're at six. Oh, and if you tell a story, you get plus one. What about the guilt trip? <sighs> guilt trip. This is a very famous story. <laughs> if they don't, it's not supposed to be a real life. Don't start. Okay. <laughs> no! Hey. Okay. Let's see. Remember, you're a priest, I'm a wizard, and he's a bard. It's supposed to be in this realm. We're on a train. Right. <laughs> Again, we have no imagination. Yeah, I'm just gonna roll. <laughs> <laughs> So you need to get four higher. Really? Yeah. You rolled a two. <laughs> it's, it's, what's wrong with this? Is the dice game? like uh, against us? Is I, it, is is it, it a loaded dice? That's what I was wondering. 
Okay, Quentin, you're up. Mm, I guess I'm gonna try this one. You should go for the small ones for now. <laughs> no. Okay. See, we also tried that strategy of going for the small ones to try to get more um, loot from the Costco, but as you can I'm, see, we're not even. I'm going to have you assist me, so we're at six. Why don't you have Daddy assist you? Maybe I'm the okay. lucky one. Yeah. Actually, yeah, you assist me, right. okay? Okay. And so you can tell a story, me. and we get an extra extra one. Um, about either one of our characters. We're on a train, okay. remember. So on a train, someone makes you feel guilty on the train because you you ac accidentally spilled your water on the seat. There you go. Better than we did. Come on. Three. Three or higher. Yay! Yay! <laughs> And All that's right. only worth one point. We really? should be worth a lot more. I know. So Quinn beat one. <laughs> oh. So now it's me. This one's a double assist. Ooh. Um. <laughs> should we try it? It would be. We would have four. We'd have to get a five I, or higher. This one, I should try it. No, I'm showing the trailer. I'm strong oh, yeah, against spooky. I'm next. You don't. That's not a spooky one. Oh yeah. He's strong against relic. He right. should do that one. Yeah, he should do. All right. Well, I'll try the ticket counter again, and I'll have you assist me. How much we're at? So we'll be at three. We only need a two. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, is that an automatic win? Yeah, critical. Yay! <laughs> okay. Yay! And this one's worth two points. So. One more, if I can beat another one, I can get I'm it. I'm trying this one. Oh, no. Okay. I should I do that. Assist me. You should Bothered do. by bad seats. What's so bad about... If you tell a story, you get an extra About what? What's so bad about your seats on this train? <laughs> well, I go on to sit down in the seat. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Without looking. <laughs> Major mistake on any public, <laughs> you know, <laughs> what? like train stations or buses or anything. And I sit on gum. <laughs> Horrible day. Horrible the day. The wizard probably put it there. Yeah, probably. Who's <laughs> a wizard? Me. <laughs> so. so we have a four. Yay! We're on a roll. Oh, okay. Well. So now it's your turn. Do you, are you going to try to beat this one? Okay, so four. So... You get a double assist. Okay, so both of you. And remember, if you tell a story, just so how many we have? You get plus one. Eight. So while overcoming endless boredom, so I'm so bored. In I am so bored because I have nothing that I can do. All I do is just walk around my house, running, trying to become less bored somehow <laughs> in my imagination. <laughs> Okay. Well, we're on max nine. So yeah. We so we're at nine. Oh, yay! Yeah, unless you hit the X. <laughs> yeah. Three. Okay, so you have two points. You need one more. You can get the. Yeah. Okay, so. We're good at the. I'm good at the relic. Let's see. <laughs> They're all spooky. So I'm gonna try. I could do this one. I'm gonna try this one. <laughs> Oh, the next one's mine. We gotta simmer down though. We're getting close on those. Okay, but I'll be able to get a Costco card or fantasy Costco card. <laughs> so while eating in the dining car, what are they serving in this fancy dining car? So I get plus one for telling a story. So let's see. I'm a diva, diva human wizard. So. I would probably want the finest of the finest. So I'm guessing they're serving lobster and steak, baked potatoes. Oh, baked baked potatoes. <laughs> I love baked potatoes. <laughs> That's the finest of the finest. For me, yeah. I'm not fancy. <laughs> I'm thinking of like Ruth Chris. They have awesome baked potatoes. Okay, so. My, so that means I'm at two. I'm gonna have Anthony assist me to work four, and we get one for the story. So I only need to roll one or higher. Three. 
I thought I was going to get that symbol. <laughs> so I can trade these in for the Fantasy Costco card. Haunted Doll. Okay, so that means it's ongoing, right? Plus one strength versus spooky or magic. Creepy as hell. She wears a bonnet so people don't make fun of her hair. What's her name? She reminds me of the girl on Little House on the Prairie. What was her name? Mm -hmm. The mean girl. I don't remember her name. Nellie? I think her name's Nellie. She looks like Nellie. Is it my turn? Yeah. I'm gonna do this one. I'm cooking. Oh, you're spooky. Never mind. Okay. So you automatically get four. Are you having me assist you? Yeah. What about me? And if you tell a story, you, assist one. you get she plus one. Kids. This is a Lucia of someone who you lost or left behind. Who is it? As time lapses in the future scene, I see my grandma. What? She had passed. <laughs> and now she's present. Your stories are kind of lame. I love your stories. <laughs> so you're at seven. Yay! Yay! Oh, you can trade it in. What's this oh, one? Yeah. Look, it's I'll a trade Oh, and we didn't go up. We wanted to surprise huh. you. Can I trade it now? Yeah. My turn? I'll do the surprise after you for your card. Strength plus one. You may discard this at any time and make a cryptic pronouncement to add plus one to anyone's die roll. When the turtle runs, the albatross jogs. Okay. Let me see. Is that... So ongoing is plus one strength, but if you it's discard right. it... I'm guessing like after we roll, if we've lost by one, you can mm -hmm. discard that. So another thing about this game, which is cool, is after the fourth card in each deck, there's a surprise card. There's only one in each deck, but you turn that over and that's the active surprise that, that affects the game until the next one's drawn. So this one's Carry Scouts Ahead. And it's an ongoing plus one for traps, the little, or spider whips. Harry Fang Battle is a rogue and damn good at roguelike stuff. You can discard this card to add plus two to the die roll when facing a um, trap challenge. How does Carry help? But at ongoing, he adds plus one. But if we ever need more than one, we can discard it and he adds two. So that's pretty cool. And then if we get down to the fifth card in one of these decks, we'll get another surprise that replaces that one. Your turn, Quinn. Okay. Oh, what's this one? Ooh, is that spooky? No, that's it's see. right there. It shows you. Yeah, it's on the, the bottom, bottom of your monster. Card. Oh, okay. Monster. Which? But you automatically have a four. Yeah, four against Rob. So I'm going to fight that one. Okay. And I'm going. And what's the plus one mean? So, I mean, it's plus one for. Hit. Assist? Hmm. I don't know. <clears throat> okay, so who you have assist me or mommy? Her? Alright. I guess she has more assist, doesn't she? No, she has two, I have two. Well you, because <laughs> she's unlucky. Yeah. Alright. How much do I need to get? Uh, you're four. Oh, and six. tell a story and you get to add an extra one. You, while well, haunted by a personal ghost. Oh, that one's mine. Oh, that's the one that I just finished, I think. Yeah, it is. Yeah, put this away. Okay, you're doing this one. Oh, okay. You accidentally gave me the wrong ones. Okay. While facing a terrifying monster. <laughs> there was a terrifying monster in the other room. You could hear it screeching, and now you can hear the floor creaking coming in your room. As you hear it, you lock your door, and then you wait until the next day. Now it's gone. 
Okay. I don't see the plus one. Well, I'm at seven. All right. Now I need to get three or higher. Yeah, I don't know what that means. So just three or higher. Okay, you can do it. Yay! Yay! Oh, I can exchange them. It's right here. So you get a Costco fantasy Costco card. You may discard a vest during your turn to restore two points of health. If you give a detailed review of how it tastes, it restores three points. Eight out of ten will heal again. Let me see. Potion of healing. Wow. You may discard to restore. Oh, we may need that. You know what's funny? My character, I put him as a healer. <laughs> My healing powers. Oh, nice. He got a healing card. Okay. It's a one-time use, but... We should use that later. Mm hmm We'll probably need that. Yeah. Okay, so I am going to do... Ooh, I am four against this one. And I'm not going to ask for an assist, only because we need you chill. guys can assist me after. We need to chill out on these ones. Well, we're neck and neck on them, so we're good right now. Okay. I only need to roll a two or higher. Please. Four. Yes. We're lucky now. Yeah, we were really young. Oh, I didn't read anything. I was lame. While exploring the pleasure chamber. The pleasure chamber can be any room in the world. It's not a sex thing, though it can be. Okay, so. Our, our new surprise is Davenport's Delivery. So we discard this one because we're, we have a new one. Davenport has brought vital supplies. You can discard to draw a fantasy Costco card, describe how it helps, but you can only use the word Davenport. Or it can be ongoing for plus one strength against any magic challenge. So if we want to discard this one at any time, one of us can get a fantasy Costco card. I want one. Right? Maybe we'll do a... I don't think we should use it now. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't say. Yeah, I don't know what that means. Okay, Does that so, mean you have to beat an additional one? Like it's... Oh, like you have to be an additional card? No, an additional plus one to beat it. Well, he beat it no matter what, though. Yeah. Okay, so my turn? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't I'm explain gonna do this one that. Since I have a four. Okay. I'm going to have you assist me. So we're at six. Let's see what the story... Oh, this one, the, there's no story. Is this the story I have to say, or? That's just kind of like leading questions to help you. Oh, so I still could say the story and get plus one? Because it doesn't show a plus one. If it's a relic, it said all relics have a plus story plus one. All of them. Wait, you said on is that on spooky? No, it's, yeah, it's spooky. I'm spooky. You have to get eleven. Yeah. See, the team leader is supposed to kind of take all three challenges that are showing and make like say how the top three challenges consider how they relate to each other. Like, where are you? Where? What do you see? The team leader should periodically repeat the step as new challenges are revealed. How does a new challenge enter the scene? But yeah, we haven't been doing that. But. What's the worst thing about your ex? Why didn't it work out? And why was none of it your fault? Well, for my wife, she was just, my ex was pretty crazy. Well, this is pretty crazy. not real world. <laughs> what are you not understanding? I, no. My Lord. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so. Okay, well, we'll go fantasy realm. Wow. <laughs> What's the worst thing about your ex? She, uh... I woke up one night, and she... I turned and looked at her face. And it <laughs> you was, are not kidding. And, and it was a troll. <laughs> Why didn't it work out? Well... It was just didn't work out. We didn't have the same interest. 
I never said I was a good storyteller. <laughs> I'm good at poetry, not storytelling. You're probably home. Tell me about it. Five. <laughs> <Bye. laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's the highest wall we've gotten yet, isn't it? Yep. And, oh wow. Then the real ice is up. It's a three and this one's a two, so I could just get one. Wow. And again, if we're playing this wrong, I'm sorry. We're doing the best for ability from what we understand, but we cannot find anywhere what these plus ones mean. I, I, I know, I already read I, a whole book. And I don't, I don't know what they mean, so. <laughs> okay. But luckily, our rolls have been enough to beat that if it's plus one anyway, so. Yeah, I looked everywhere. They okay, so show them on there. Plus two strength. While you possess this, you cannot assist others, and others cannot assist you. Add plus one to anyone's die roll. If you discard it. Yeah. So, but you always have plus two strength. Yeah, so does that mean I have plus three now? Because I have a plus one, plus two. Yep. So I can only have two at a time, right? Right. So. Okay, so is it Quentin scale? Yeah. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to do this. All right. I'm so and that's a no assist one. While making a painful sacrifice, you can discard a Costco, a fantasy Costco, which I'm not going to do because this one's good. Right. Okay, so we just need to get eight or higher. A painful sacrifice. The painful sacrifice is that. I lost a a strong sharp sword along the way. Now all I can use is my fist, which does not do very much. <laughs> I don't know. You're better than Daddy, trust me. <laughs> yeah, his stories were. These are horrible. <laughs> yeah. They should give him plus one to not tell a story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <it's>, uh, <laughs> or minus one if he does. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Okay, so. <laughs> okay, so I'm at four, so I'm at five. Okay. I need to get fear. And there's no assist, but you can do it. You can do fear it. higher. Yay! Yay! Okay, so we're on a roll now. I figured out what those mean. What does this mean? Those are the ones that you only you get uh, plus one or whatever it is for storyteller. Oh. No matter what, you have to tell a story. Right. Oh, so okay. those you, you get but it from. said all relics earlier yeah. in the book. The first, yeah. So that's because there's also plus one down here on some of them. If you see, it said so all relics. Certain challenges have the story bonuses. These pose specific questions. If you answer those questions, you get plus one bonus to your strength see, against this challenge. That's what they're talking about. Yeah, that's different. That's not the thing on top. All right. Like, I don't know what that means. And they don't really go over what these mean either. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know what those do. Yeah, they didn't uh, specify so that. I, I'm not sure what those do. Okay. Okay. So, my turn? Ooh, this one, the effect. This one obviously has the effect until we beat it. Any um, monster has a plus one difficulty until we beat this one. I'm going to beat that one to get it off of there. Okay, so I have and you can't assist anyone anymore, correct? Nope. So I have plus one or I have one, so I'm going to have you assist me. Thank you. So that puts us at two. How much do we need? We need a four or higher. Oh, I'm lucky. It's my roll. Can I roll? Let me roll it. You're unlucky. It's, it's my turn. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, wait. What does this one do again? Oh, no. It's only on magic. we got to remember this guy, too. <laughs> Five! Yay! And I get to We're trade it in for... A Fantasy Costco. We are on a wall. So Adamant Spanner. Plus one strength for um, traps and monsters. It's the perfect tool for any occasion. So that's cool. I now have a plus one for spooky monsters, traps, and oh wow. Monster and magic. That's good. Yeah, those then 
I, yeah, I don't know what those are for. Yeah. It's like three, third, third or fourth time reading that book. So, <laughs> I mean, it's, a small, that. it's a small book. Yeah, so. nothing on that on, on the plus. Yeah, so. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe it's on the cards. It might yeah. be in the cards. Okay, so it's my turn. Oh, we need to. So are we supposed to be this See, first, you said? all ring challenges have an inherent story plus... So you get plus one strength if you describe the challenge. It's for the rings, uh, all of them. And we haven't done this one yet, but okay. So okay. what were you saying? Sorry. So we, we need to beat this one first and then that one? Well, we have to beat this one plus another one, but we can't get to the finale on this one before we beat that one or okay. we automatically lose. So beat this one? That's a, yeah, you can. Right. So we can assist you. But you get how many? Three strength. Plus, that's it. What about your two? Yeah, so five total. Okay. Come on, get four higher. You can do it. Yes. yes. Wow. Did you not tell Shore? Nope. Good. You could have got plus one strength, but I was actually, we're going to give you the plus one to not tell your story. <laughs> yeah. So you can trade those in for... I can't, because... Uh, you can give it to Quentin. Uh, one of these? Mm -hmm. Or this one. Um, give it to me. He only has one. Okay, I'll look at... Let me discard this card before a... you roll the die. If That's the result what's is good. Even, the roll is a critical Oh, wait, hit. what's if, I doing? If it's odd, it's an epic fail. No other threat can modify this. Wow. What is it? Yeah, I'll give that to Quentin. You may discard this card before you roll. If the result is even, the roll is critical hit. If it's odd, it's an epic fail. Ooh, that's a risk. It's like yeah. a 50-50. Yeah, but you're a gambler. I don't know if I like Quite that. Quentin loves to gamble, oh, though. I, I want to do it. I, I, don't, I wouldn't want that card. But that's a good yeah. one you can discard if you get Qu Quentin, a better one. Quentin, we know he's a gambler. <laughs> no. He is you're a gambler. Me. I'm going to do this one. Ooh, and that's the finale. Well, I'm going to do the all or nothing queen. That's the even. I guess you do have the health card that can. Okay, unbeatable so, foe. You get plus one for telling a story. It doesn't matter, it's all even. Yeah. What do you mean it's all even? <laughs> but, he's using his card. Oh, yeah. It doesn't matter, just give it. Okay, unbeatable foe. This is an illusion of a creature you know that can't defeat. What do you see, and how will you beat the odds? Well, what I see is yeah. his bad story. <laughs> is that your nightmare? <laughs> okay, so if it's even, it's good. If it's odd, we're bad. Okay. It's 12. Even, even, even. <laughs> Epic fail. No. What's that? What's that? X. Wait. That's, that's not even the fact. Oh, yeah. He said, it says no other. No. Awesome. No other effects can modify the die <gasps> roll. So what does that mean? Do we roll again? Because that's not effects. Yeah. He got epic fail. I think he failed. Did he? No. I think I should roll again. Because it says, because it's not even. I guess. This is a... That's not the card we're reading. Oh. Ah, well, we're reading this one. Come on. This is... I don't this know. This card before you roll the die. But there's still even... <laughs> It it's just, odd, it's an epic fail. No other effect can modify this die So I guess that means we well, it, has it has to be, to be odd. odd or even. No matter right. what, it has come to be odd or even. even. That's odd! Oh, is that, that six or nine? That's a nine. Oh. No! Oh. I'm going to use a potion of healing. So you're discarding this And card. we technically get one if I give him a... So so we wait, lost two. Wait, no. If I do this, we gain two. But I get three if if you give a detailed review of how it tastes. <laughs> okay, so the potion, I will say, I would give it a two out of five on taste. It just tastes <laughs> like really dry backwash. <laughs> that doesn't sound very tasty. So, good job. We're back at ten. Yay! <laughs> so he's out of fantasy Costco cards, but hey, now you, you're close to getting another one. Wait, so, if I didn't do that coin, we would have won. Actually, no, because of the X. Yeah. Yeah, you would have lost no matter what. It, okay. If I got the nine, we won. So we're passing through a dark tunnel. 
Oh no. The effect. All other challenges have a plus one difficulty. It's really dark. So if I don't kill this one, Ooh. all these are plus one. That's not good. So it was actually should have been plus one anyway. So we're supposed to look at all these when we're playing. Because there's a swarm of rats, an unbeatable fall, and we're in a dark tunnel, basically. Is the scenario right now in this train. And I'm going to try to beat this. So I have... That one's not because I have any special... I'm at one. I'm going to have you assist me. So we'll be at two. Bye -bye, I will. So I need I'll to roll... Your, I'll see now it's your turn. A four or higher. Or a critical damage. Four. Oh, four. Yes. We're lucky. I know. Before it was like horrible. But okay, so off. it's now daddy's go. Yeah, before I do that, I'm going to cash out these. Okay. So I have three. Okay. Remember, Quinn has none. So I know. You can give him one of yours or that one. I'm gonna give what him is it? Beginner's luck. Trash fish and add two to anyone's dino. Oh, that, that might help you next time. Okay, so I am going to... Who needs skill when you have unwarranted confidence and boundless ignorance? <laughs> That's what it said. It's beginner's luck. <laughs> I'm going to attack this one. Really? So... Oh, it's spooky. Four. Oh, yeah, he has four. Six. Plus... Seven. I seven. Think. So I have seven total. How many do you need to get Plus, back? um... Yeah. Um, if you tell story. Oh, that's plus one, though, because this card affects so it, 13. so it's at 13. But if you tell a story... <laughs> this would be a good story. Don't, <laughs> good story. Don't be bad. There's a solution of a creature you know. You get you plus defeat. one. What do you see, and how will you beat the odds? I see a werewolf <laughs> coming oh. creeping in the dark. <laughs> no. The night lights... Shine <laughs> as it crawls <laughs> towards me. If anyone's needing to replace our dungeon master, here's your guy. I slice his neck and <laughs> defeat it. Full triumph. Okay, you're done. <laughs> no. Okay, so that's seven. Oh, that puts you at eight. Okay, you need to get, get, get five or higher. Yay! Yeah. Wow. So now we just turn it. You have Ooh. three, so you get your fantasy Costco card. Okay. We turn it over. Your face bars. Oh. oh wow. You know what I think that means? What? Minus one, minus one. I think it affects the cards to the yeah. right and oh. left of them. Yeah. Oh, that makes sense now. Yeah. Because it's point. It didn't say that in the book, but that's common sense. So that means from here on out, this is negative one, and that was negative one. Ooh, easy. Okay, I got a good one. Yeah, what is it? I am going to give it Come to... Come on, give it to me. I have only one. I yeah, can... I'll give it to you. I what can't, is it? I can't Your base it. power is four, regardless of the traits of a challenge. Grant some true champion protection in his face of any challenge. Plus, keep your pants off. <laughs> He's four no matter what. Your base power is four. Grants a true champion protection in the face of any challenge. Plus, it helps keep your pants up. You know, the champion's back. Wow, that's high. He does not deserve it because his stories are. <laughs> hey, my last story was good. Okay. <laughs> okay. I don't think you're going to be getting any calls to be anyone's dungeon master. Hey, I don't want to be. Anytime soon. Okay, so now we're on this one and we figured this out. That means that's negative one for the card to the left and the right. Yeah. Okay. You could tell we didn't get very far in the last game because we were discovering things yeah. that we didn't discover before. Oh yeah, we got demolished. <laughs> but we know how to play it. We knew enough how to play it that I'm we gonna face didn't need the to play it again. Wild cop between cars. Okay, so my story will be I'm in between two cars. I'm stuck. It's the train cars as we're talking. Oh, okay. So I'm in. So. I'm in between trains, and I'm trying to get out, and I keep honking my horn, but <laughs> they just don't move, because they have this really... What lot... horn are you honking? You're on a train. Yeah. <laughs> train There's a cars. buzzer. There's a buzzer. 
Oh. See, there's train cars. <laughs> one car, two cars. See, it's all part See, of the train. You can go in between them. I don't know if Amanda's ever been in the train. Ah. Uh, uh, the Tweetsie Railroad train. See, I'm from Spain. That's uh, the only train yeah, I've been on. There's buzzers you could press. Oh. Well, I keep pushing the buzzer nonstop to get them to stop the train. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, good job. Better than his stories. So, you're at four. And... And five now. Five for what? Story. Oh, no, this one doesn't have that effect. Yeah, but he has four no matter what. Right. So, so. you need three or higher. And you can have someone assist you. You want me to assist you? Um, yeah. I don't like his two. stories. So, well, he can't assist anyone. Yeah, he can't assist. So you only need one or higher. Just don't get epic fail and you're good. Good job. Oh! Literally got a one. And you can draw and maybe replace one of those cards if you want to. I'm not going to replace any of these. Okay, well you can save it for later. Hmm. Okay, so sleeper car. Ooh. We're resting in the sleeper car. We claim the ring from the villain. And we still have those rats swarming around. So. Oh, you. You may be in the middle of an adventure, but any time's a good time for a nap. I agree. Wow. <laughs> That's like the perfect part for Amanda. <laughs> I know. <laughs> she loves to nap. So, I, I guess that's a four. Actually, yeah. you would have had that beat. Because remember, they're negative one. Yeah. So, is that a four? I'm at one. So, it's a four right now. I'm going to have Quentin assist me. I'm on. Okay. So, we'll be at, is his, would it be a four? No, his assist is one. So, we're at two. I just need to get two or higher. Three. Yes. Wow, we haven't lost in a while. I know. It used to be bad luck. Now it's really good. I can trade this if I want for the next Costco card. And, and you can give it to me. I think I will. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna Actually, card. you need that. Actually, I should see what I get first. Yeah. You said you need one because we have two. You only have one. Yeah, there's some. Oh, yeah. What is it? Invisible. I have the cloak of invisibility. When I fail a challenge, the damage is reduced by one. So, pretty cool. Pretty My cool. turn? Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to attack that one. Okay, the caboose. Ooh, we're getting close to the end. Ooh, started plus one. <gasps> oh, no. No. <laughs> What's so especially adorable about this caboose? <laughs> no. Okay, I'll skip that one. <laughs> <laughs> So what are you, how many strength do you have? I have four, five, six, seven. I should not wait. I have two, five, six. I have six. Plus it's negative one, so you've already beat it. But you have to roll it, I think, because if you get the epic fail. Yes! Okay. We have one card left. You going to do it? It's your turn. Oh, please. wait. I got it. Oh. It's the finale! We did it. Does he have to beat it? No. I think he would have to beat it. Oh, it's in car. The villain stole the relic, and you have to catch them before the train reaches the end of the line. <laughs> we beat it. Does that mean we were supposed to beat the villain? <laughs> hmm? I think we did it wrong. Well, you remember the video we watched? It said you beat any two. Yeah, but... This one says the villain has stolen the relic, and you, but we got the relic, right? Yeah. Okay, that's an iffy one, because this does say, basically, your mission has failed. I don't think we were supposed to beat the relic, or the villain. We just had to beat two. But it says you have to catch them before the train. But we got the relic. Yeah. Yeah. So I look at it like we did it, but again, we might be wrong. Hey, the video we watched. <laughs> we watched three videos. Did we beat the game? Each I think we did. Finally, we're done with the story. We think yeah. we beat it, but we may be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I hope we're right. We beat two, two decks. So Way I better. Can... Last time we could hardly even beat one deck. Yeah, I mean, we one car. We weren't. Pl we weren't playing the best of yeah. our abilities. So well, we... it was our. Uh, we but literally. We were rolling wrong. We yeah. had like six rolls that were against us. <laughs> That was pretty bad. 
<laughs> but we really <coughs> like this game. It's a fun game. It's um, I, but I'm sorry again if we did anything wrong. And the fact that I'm sorry we don't know what these mean. But yeah, what are those? <laughs> they didn't seem to be important. I'm guessing maybe they're for certain um decks. Well, I can or, almost I can almost bet. Or that, or cards, or maybe even the Costco. Yeah, there has to be something in there that talks about them. Yeah. So we just haven't came across that yet. But it's definitely a fun <laughs> game. Um, I would suggest checking it out. If you like um, cooperative games, and this is a lighthearted fun one. You could tell, even though we have no imagination, <laughs> it was still fun. We had a lot of fun with it. And this, the cards lead you... Um, but if you like that type of game, it, it would be a really fun family game or a game with friends to play. Um, we'll put the product in the product link down in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. Um, we've liked our other games. We played right. Ill Illumat. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That was a fun game. They have really unique fun games. And so we, so far we've liked everything they've done that we've played. Um, did you have anything to add? Uh, yeah, we just have one more game of there, so we're going to be uh, doing um, probably next week or the week after. So I think it's uh, Phoenix Dawn Command is the one, the last one. And so. That's something to add. Yeah, that's. Uh, we have. We've liked every one of their games, so I'm sure we'll like it. And similar to this, where it's uh, it uses tarot and story building, but the story's already written for us, so <laughs> you don't have to suffer through my stories. <laughs> One thing I'd like to add is, I'm so happy that it's already written so we don't have to listen to your story. <laughs> I'm actually happy that we finished so fast because your stories were really bad. Yeah, yeah. we're sorry about his stories. <laughs> but if you enjoy this video, please support us by liking and subscribing. Um, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Bye! Bye.